Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'm actually doing an account takeover, which is something new for my channel. Uh, thank you to TX Bill for being the uh, the first person I'm doing this for. And what we're doing today and the goal that we have in mind is actually progressing this account to Gold 1 Tag Team Arena just for the missions. Uh, I take it that's where we are right now. Yeah, Gold 1 in the Tag Team Arena. So that's, like I say, it's going to be the end goal. If you guys want to see more content like this, definitely let me know down below. Uh, if you'd like to be featured on a takeover, get in contact with me as well. I have my Discord and everything linked down below. You can reach out to me in the comment section, wherever you might prefer and uh, we can definitely get to work on that for sure this is something that I want to do more in the future just to help you folks out um, I'm kind of at a point in the game where unless I start spending a lot of money I get bored because I run out of energy energy each day so I'm definitely looking to expand a little bit into new areas if you guys like the video definitely make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below it definitely helps out the channel a lot and I very much appreciate it so let's hop right into it um, first thing I'm gonna do is look at the great hall I did take a little bit of a peek around in here earlier medals are being saved up I assume assume for the CVC um, points that you can get by upgrading stuff. This is a amazing looking great haul. We got a lot of specs into void here. I'm guessing there's some good void champions. Accuracy was maxed out on everything before anything else as well as it looks like resistance. Not really focusing too much on the HP or attack which is perfect. You love to see it. Uh, from here we're going to go ahead and look at the champions first. Um, so again, I did kind of take a look through this. We got some pretty nice stuff going on here. So we got a Hegemon, we got a Mithrala already. Uh, we got some Empowered Rosins, Lydia's, Gaius, and an Empowered Ursuga, which is amazing. Um, we got a Sifi, Rhodos, um, Ethos. We got so many champions in here. A lot of damage dealers especially. So we could definitely make some great teams with that, I would imagine. Going into a little bit more epics here, as well as... Uh, Gaelic, who's the one rare that's on this account. And then if we go ahead and look through here at the vault, this is what we got. We got a Yannicka, we got a Cardinal coming in here. Uh, we got some people like Taragi, that's going to be kind of dwarf though compared with something like Ursuga, of course. Uh, just looking through this, we got a lot of PvE champions, a lot of rares in here as well. Some other champions that aren't built yet, like Aurorik is in there. Uh, the champions I'm calling out aren't necessary. Oh my god, that's a lot of five-star chickens. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Great champions there, great champions. I was taking a peek at your Arbiter, which hypothetically should be the fastest champion, and she's sitting at 330 right now, so... Uh, I am going to use the Hell Hades Artifact Optimizer just to see if we can get that speed up a little bit. Now that we've looked at the champions real quick, I want to go over where we've progressed everything. So if we look at Iron Twins here, we are easily farming stage 15 it looks like. Um, the Keeps, I'm going to take a wild guess and assume that we're at max on all of them. Minotaurs, got to be maxed, yep. Ice Golems, probably farming stage 25 at a decent time. Uh, spiders, I'd imagine very similar, yep. Uh, dragons, we're sitting stage 25 is being farmed in two minutes. That is also perfect. Uh, and then Fire Knight 25 in two minutes and 21 seconds. That's awesome. Doom Tower, he was mentioning actually that he was progressing through hard, so we just beat floor 70 today, which is awesome. Um, possibly beat normal first. Yes, it looks that way. Uh, so, and then for Arena, we're sitting pretty high here in Gold 5, just kind of right outside Platinum. Let's just take a look here at the team that was being used. So you're using Arbiter, Umbral, Hegemon, and uh, Constantine the Dayborn. Constantinin? Constantine? Uh, we're going to take a look here. Do we have other team setups in main? Block Revive, Tanky, New Team 5, Slow Tanks, Card, Blender, Bus, AoE, New team eight. Okay, so we got a few team comps in here. I'm probably going to go through here and make some custom teams myself, and then I'll name them and give you some ideas there for champions that we can use. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm just going to cut the video here. I'm going to go through all the champions and fill them out into some categories. So uh, the categories you're looking for in any sort of arena situation is going to be a nuker, a cleanser, strippers, um, control, support, and protection champions, as well as obviously, you know, you have your speed boosters and stuff in there too, which fall into the support category. So I'm going to categorize some of the champions, especially ones that we have built. I see that we have a pretty crazy build here on the Kyoku, so um, can definitely take a look at running someone like her as well. Uh, once I finish up with that, I will be right back on the video. 
Uh, so I'm actually using the Hell Hades Artifact Optimizer, of course, and I was taking a look at this here. What I did is I came into your Arbiter, um, I put the max priority on speed, no other priorities anywhere else, optimize, and the fastest we can actually get your champion right now is 337 using this particular build right here. Um, so most of this gear is already on her, minus the chest the boots and the shield um, so it is completely up to you of course if you would like to use this build if you'd like to take the gear off that sort of thing what i would wholeheartedly recommend though in this particular instance is to try and get some better speed on some of your stuff Ooh, this one right here yeah perfect so she does have the right masteries um and she is in a triple speed set, so you do want to try and get her a little bit faster. From what I'm seeing here, it looks like the uh, speed increase could f come from like a better, a little bit better roll on the chest, the helmet. Uh, you got a really good shield there, actually. The boots, of course, are good. Um, you could get a triple or a quad roll on your weapon. That would boost you up a lot, actually. All right, so after taking a look in depth at all the champions, the builds, all that good stuff, I came up with some champions that would fit in each category, as well as five teams that you could try out uh, with the particular roster that you have going here. One thing I want to cover real quick first, though, is you are going to need more speed on almost all your champions, first of all, uh, and you are going to need more crit rate. So I noticed with champions like, for example, Anithui, he's built out in full savage, good attack, but he only has 34% crit rate. Um... Same thing is going to go for champions like Mortu Macab, even Herndig here is only at 45%. Uh, Constantine is at a good amount, but again, like for all these nuke champions, you definitely want more crit rate on them so that they can do a little bit more good. Uh, and then more speed on everyone as well, especially when it comes to things like, uh, who is an example, Arbiter, of course. There was also a couple others that I seen throughout here. So. Especially when you're building a speed team, a go first team like some of these will be, uh, you definitely want to go ahead and just make sure that you're amping up the speed to be suitable for whatever level of arena that you're pursuing. Uh, so if you're looking to get into gold one, I'd recommend having at least 350 speed, I would say. Sometimes I still get beaten the speed race in silver four at about 352 with my Arbiter, so just keep that in mind. Uh, I am going to be building the teams here inside of the uh, free five slots that you do have here. Uh, so the first team that I came up with is kind of your classic speed team. So this one's going to consist of Arbiter. Uh, it's also going to have Madame in there. It's going to have Ethos and Lady Kimmy. So um, for anyone who knows much about these champions, you can probably see what we're going for here. So we have that kind of classic speed team. We have speed into control, into a strip, into a nuke. So you have Arbiter coming in with the speed boost. You have Lady Kimmy coming in with the control in the way of the decrease uh, speed as well as the decrease turn meter. Um, Madame is going to come in here and do the strip, of course, and then Ethos is going to come in for that nuke. I'm just going to rename this team to one. Uh, obviously, you know, you don't have to specifically go with these particular champions. If you want something more controlling, I did notice that you have something like an Umbral Enchantress in here. Uh, she works great for the control if you have a Molly somewhere. Um, basically, anybody who can place stuns, who can place block active skills, who can place uh, any sort of hard control debuff like that, or turn meters. So if you had a Lysandra, a Lydia, not a Lydia, sorry. Um, a Deacon Armstrong would even be able to do that role pretty perfectly. I will say as well, uh, for anyone who might be wondering, the re-gearing was not part of today's takeover. That's something he wants to do at a later date, uh, just because he didn't know exactly which champions that he'd want to have, uh, you know, left alone and that sort of thing. So uh, the second team I got going here is going to be an absolute tank of a team and an absolute nightmare to deal with. Uh, so it's going to be Duchess or Suga. It's your choice which one of these you run in the start. Uh, and then for our damage, we're going to be bringing in Mountain King, if I can find him. I'd probably scroll him by him a lot here. Right there, Mountain King, he'll definitely have to be rebuilt, I noticed. Uh, and then an odd pick for my final champion, who I'm actually going with, Ray. Uh, so basically the idea here is that you have two protection champions. So you have Duchess doing her damage prevention passive, as well as Ursuga soaking up that damage. You have Mountain King, who's a super ch uh, tanky champion anyway, so he can basically just, you know... Um, survive no matter what uh, one of his skills ignores 50 percent of defense that's why i brought ray is because she can strip and then place the weaken which is going to increase mountain king's damage by 25 percent 
She can also revive with a block debuffs, uh, and she has a block buffs on her A1 as well. Uh, of course, you could switch out Ray for someone else if you'd like, like any sort of debuffer. So Lydia, Madame Cerise, anybody who can, even a Mithrala, um, just since she can place the Hex and then from there place the Petrification, which basically works like a strip anyways. Uh, just keep in mind that that does give some damage reduction to the enemy team as well. Uh, so we're going to come in here and name this to team number two. The next team that we have up here is going to be team number three, and this is going to be making use of, of course, your Sifi, your Rhodos. Uh, I then also picked Kyoku for this one for a little bit of protection coming in, and then a Lydia of all things. And the reason I picked Lydia is for her block revive skills as well as her debuffing potential. So um, essentially the way this team is going to work is it could be a speed team if you'd like, considering that Sifi is one of the fastest champions in the game, sitting at a base speed of... Um, I want to say 110. She's very close to Arbiter, if not a little bit faster. So uh, you basically have Speed, which also places the block debuffs and everything like that. You have Kyoku for protection. Then you'd have Lydia coming into debuff. Rhodos is going to go and just smack somebody down, most likely the enemy team's nuker, uh, because what's going to happen then is if, say, you're going against an Arbiter team, they're going to try and revive. Lydia says, no, not happening. She gets an extra turn. That's when you go in with your block skills uh, on her A3, and then that's when you hit someone like their speed boost or someone like their secondary reviver, that sort of thing. So it is a very good team comp, in my opinion. Decently tanky as well, thanks to the Sifi uh, and the Kyoku combination. Um, I, I'm thinking a little bit outside the box with these team compositions as well. If you guys have suggestions, definitely leave them down below in the comments. I know there's people that are, you know, far better at this game than I am. So if you're one of those people, definitely feel free to give any sort of feedback you might have down below. Um, the next champion setup that I have here is actually going to be very similar to one that I use myself. So that's going to be more to Macabre. We're going to be combining more to Macabre with Mithrala. Uh, she, of course, is going to cleanse. She's going to place um, Hex on the enemies to share that damage a little bit. She's going to be putting out um, poisons on the A1, all that good stuff. Uh, with those two, we are also going to be bringing in, where is he, Brogni, since there's a lot of shielding going on in this team. Uh, and then it is your choice for the last champion. Uh, if you wanted it to be very similar to the team that I use, you would throw Sill in here. Uh, and if you wanted a secondary option, the other champion that I've seen in here that I'd recommend is Alton, actually. Um, Alton and Syl are both going to give you a revive. Syl brings in CC in the form of her stuns, as well as her A1, uh, where she can decrease the turn meter. Um, Brogni, and, and so what I'd recommend for this team is to have somebody built out in the shield set that can't be removed. I forgot the name of it at the moment, so say if you put more two in there. What's going to happen then in that case, and these all have to be very tanky champions, by the way, you could actually put a Vogoth in here in place of uh, probably Sill, honestly, just to get some healing as well. So if you built Sill, or sorry, Vogoth in a shield set, the shield set that can't be removed again, I forgot the name at the moment. The way this team works, though, is you would have... Uh, this team ideally going against a speed team with some champions that have AO1, uh, AOE A1s. Uh, so if you're going against champions like Kaimar, Biggin, um, any sort of champions like that that do a lot of AOEs, because then Mortu is going to get hit, he's going to place his, uh, or proc his passive, uh, which has the block revive, double hit, all that good stuff that ignores defense. So we don't need a, buff, a debuffer in this composition in terms of a decreased defense. Mithrala is of course going to be able to cleanse, poison, and place control debuffs. Brogni is going to be placing the shield, so you guys are going second. If you have somebody built in that unremovable shield, what happens is they hammer you with their nuke. Their nuker basically ends up killing themselves just because they're hitting that shield. Brogni's reflecting the damage, all that good stuff. And then Vogoth or Sil would be coming in for control as well as um, healing and such. So we're going to go ahead and rename this to team number four. And the last team I have here, again, I was thinking a little bit outside the box, so uh, what this team is going to be, uh, we're going to have Shazar in here, I think he has a good aura for Arena, I don't remember though, but I'm pretty sure, uh, switch this around as needed, we're going to have Valk, we're going to be bringing Hedgy, and then we're going to be bringing Uko. Uh, so I'd actually probably run whoever has the higher speed aura here. So uh, the way this is going to work is so you're going to have Hedgy go first automatically, obviously, right? The only exception being if the enemy team has another Hedgy uh, and they're slightly faster. So what happens is Hedgy goes first. You can A1 him or A2 him if he's A1ing target their speed booster. Um, 
with Evil Eye Mastery, if he's A2-ing, you're just going for those block active skills. Then what's going to happen is if the enemy gets a turn, uh, that's if they're buffing, Valkyrie's going to basically boost her own turn meter off of that. Then you have Uko who's coming in uh, to do a strip as well as a block buffs, which takes care of anything like uh, pesky that you might have, such as uh, ally protections, uh, block debuffs, of course, since you have Sh Shazar. And of course, it's also going to get rid of um, Swift Parry if you have the block buffs in there. And then Shazar comes in, increases his own attack, as well as throws out bombs on everybody. Make sure he's built with, uh, you know, a lot of attack, decent speed, all that good stuff, a lot of accuracy as well. Uh, and then you can kind of spec into crit rate from there if you'd like just to decrease the cooldown of his bombs so that no cleansers come in or anything like that. Of course, uh, you can change out these champions as you'd like as well. Uh, the whole purpose of what I was doing here is to try and get as many champions involved without causing overlap. That gives you a lot of options where you take uh, Team 1 and you know you don't have to worry about that taking champions out of your other comps because if you take something from Team 1 and it blocks off Team 3 and you can't use that, that's not the very most... Uh, not the most useful team. Uh, so having these five teams set up, I think definitely will help out. Uh, you'll definitely have to do some re-gearing on the champions as well, just to make sure that their speeds are good, especially when it comes to the speed team. You want them all synergized so that they can't cut in on you. I recommend the Deadwood Arena calculator for that. Uh, and then again, you know, if any of you guys have suggestions down below on what you'd recommend for team comps uh, or anything like that as well for uh, TX build, definitely feel free to reach out. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you find it helpful and I'll catch you guys in the next video.